Hey everybody, look at that, sun is finally out on a weekend. You know, first day of spring was a little while back, but you wouldn't know it because it's been raining like heck around here. And uh, I've been waiting for a nice sunny day on the weekend to uh, go ahead and install my converter charger that I picked up a while back. You might have remembered my previous video, I received it in the mail, um, and I was pretty excited and kind of gave you a little unboxing. And today um, I need a little bit of light coming in the window so I can actually see what I'm doing because I'm going to have to disconnect all the power from the RV while I do it. So you might be asking, I got a new converter charger, what is wrong with my other one? Well, a lot of the stock older converter chargers, they don't really charge very well, you know, so they're not really good for your batteries. The new charger that I got is going to give me three, four stages of uh, charging, which is going to allow me to charge up faster when, when the battery is down and needs to be charged up. It provides more amps to charge the battery faster. And when it doesn't actually need to be charged, so the battery is already full at 100%, it's going to knock the voltage down um, to about 13.2 volts, which is like a called a float charge. Just going to keep a little bit of a trickle on the battery um, at that level. And there's some other intelligent algorithms for monitoring and, and, and managing how it charges your batteries. And in the end, um, it's going to prolong the life of my batteries and allow me to keep them longer and uh, not overcharge them and uh, keep them right where I need them so they're available when I need them. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First things first, I got to disconnect my batteries. Okay, with my power back on, and uh, DC seems to be working good. I got my blinking light here. Now the true test, I'm going to turn on my AC power, and there goes the main, and uh, looking good. 
Okay, everything seems to be working. That's good. First time. <laughs> no sparks. So uh, here's the converter charger I took out. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Could use it for something. So if you wanna do this project, it's not too hard. The instructions, like I said, were really good. So just follow the instructions step by step for your particular converter charger upgrade and uh, you can do it. I'll put a link down below in the description if you wanna pick one up for yourself on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and take care of this little cut on my finger. So take it easy everybody, see you next time.